Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom 64. Today we are taking on map four, holding area. The maps after this point are starting to start getting a little bit more complicated, but they're still very doable. So once again, let's get to it. Okay, map four. So, if you're following my walkthrough, you should have a decent amount of health and a decent amount of armor. First thing we're going to do, just gonna do a quick weapon check. Okay. And we're gonna take out our normal shotgun here and we're gonna get our first secret. It's gonna be in this cage located right behind us in this door where we get a berserk. And that's gonna be very useful because when we drop the lift down, we're gonna be greeted with a few picky demons and imps that we can easily dispatch with our fists. And one zombie. Okay, we got the imp. We got the pinky. Next, the door's gonna open, revealing another pinky demon, which we can just punch again. And then a zombie that we can also punch. And then, just gonna pick that up. Now, as you will see at the beginning of this video, there is an epileptic seizure warning on this level. This is very important. Right now we're at 200 health. We do not need that soul sphere. We're at 195 health. We do not need that soul sphere. Why it, Why I'm mentioning an epileptic warning is because once I pick that up, there will be some flashing lights you'll see at the end of the video. And I don't mind dumping some shells into him that we get back easily. And then middle, left, right. And that will reveal some more enemies that we can just, once again, punch out. Another specter is gonna be hunting us down. And Mama said, knock you out. One more pinky. There you go. Next, we're gonna follow the hallway around. This will reveal our first Hell Knight of the game. Take out your super shotgun and just do the Hell Knight dance. This will reveal a couple more zombies. And these are the shotgun variant, variant zombies. This door will is progression. This goes to the rest of the level. We are not going to go there yet. Instead, we're going to head up the stairs here and take care of the imps with our chain gun. <laughs> and then we're just going to kind of do this little dance here. Take our chain gun out again and lower this wall to reveal four imps. Chain gun will make quick work. And then we're gonna quickly shoot this button here, which will lower the chain gun and reveal another hell knight. We just wait in here just a little bit and now we can exit. Coming down, three shots will do ya. Take out your chain gun again, not the rocket launcher and come down here. This will reveal several boss souls, which can be dispatched with a sh either a shotgun or a chain gun. I use a mixture of the two. And of course, infinite height means that they can jump right above you. So be careful. Also, another thing to note, lost souls in this game are a lot quicker than their Doom 1 counterparts. They act more like fast monsters, Lost Souls. Next, we're gonna lower the lift. 
take out our super shotgun. There are some shells if you need it, as well as some health. And then we're going to take out actually our normal shotgun for this part. And just going to eliminate the lost souls in this large room. And you just heard it, another Hell Knight. So we're going to take out the two zombie men here and the lost souls. And then we're going to open up the blue door here. Okay, now for our next trick, we are going to go ahead and take on the next two secrets. That's going to be by pressing this panel, which will reveal some rockets and a soul sphere. We can go ahead and grab that soul sphere. And now we are left with these three switches. So we are going to go ahead and this is the pattern. It's going to be three. Oh, well, it appears we've messed that up. Messing up will reveal some lost souls and will invalidate you from this secret area. So it does look like we'll need to come back to this area and try again. Okay. We're back. So we have these four switches here. So the pattern is going to be this and just assuming one, two, three, four. So it's going to be two, four, three, three, and one. This will once again reveal the lost souls, which we could just easily dispatch with our chain gun. And more Hell Knights. Now, we could go ahead and take on the next two secrets. This is going to be a soul sphere once again and then we're just going to come back to this door now this is the exit but we're not going to take that yet actually we're not going to take it at all revealed to us now is another secret level this is a secret exit we'll come back to that so about this epileptic seizure warning this is a very tempting soul sphere right here at the beginning and i'm just going to go ahead and gather up what remaining items i have left that i can get in arm's reach and then grab this now once again before i grab this epileptic seizure warning that's right an alarm goes off you've grabbed their soul sphere nothing else happens but the lights so before i go blind let's go ahead and get out of that room it only lasts for a few seconds so just keep that in mind. They didn't keep it on there 100%. Next, we're gonna angle ourselves at about 45 degrees. Do some SR40, because if you do try to run straight, you could do it. You could do it by doing it running straight. Just make sure to have your finger on that W key. And then exit. And that's it. And this brings us to the next secret area, Outpost Omega, and we are left with a message. The vast silence remain, reminds you of a, the military morgue. You knew the installation had a classified level. The UAC had some good reason to hide this place. You wonder what it could be. 
What could it be indeed? With the next episode, we will learn why secret levels are important and get our hands on some classified technology. My name is Eric. I punch demons. Have a good one.